The third element is flux. Now, the most commonly used system that uses flux is the stick welder. The stick welder is the grandfather of them all. And as you can see, you're in stick welding, your filler metal is your electrode. So your arc forms right at the very end of this filler metal here, and you have your chemical flux that covers the entire uh, filler metal electrode. Now, kind of looks like a giant sparkler. So you have an exposed uh, end to your filler metal, and this is where you clamp down your electrode clamp, commonly referred to as your stinger. Now, when you are using a flux-based process such as stick welding, what's gonna happen is you're gonna clamp your electrode clamp down your stinger, you're gonna strike your arc, your arc's gonna start, it's gonna start liquefying your base metal, also liquefying your filler metal, but as you burn down like this, um, it's actually burning off the flux. Now, the flux does two things. It burns off into what's called a shielding gas. Now, the shielding gas, uh, forms an environment around your liquefied material to, to protect it from the ambient products in the air, especially oxygen, but it also helps the ionization of the arc, bringing up the arc to temperature and stabilizing it. Now, flux will also drop in a uh, chemistry called dioxides into the liquefied material that will take out and grab a hold of impurities in the metal and as it solidifies it push these impurities up to the top. If you've ever seen a flux based process on the top you'll see kind of a scaly uh, crusty grayish um, crust basically and what that is is that's called slag. And slag are all, is all the impurities coming out of the liquefied material due to the flux. So most of the time you're gonna have to get a chipping hammer, rub that off, or a wire brush, rub it off to actually see what you did with your weld. And that is flux.